Hey guys, welcome to our daily encounter. If we wanted to put a title to Psalm 27, I think it would be Seeking the Presence of God in Troubled Times. Because that seems to summarize what Psalm 27 is all about. Clearly, David is dealing with some enemies. And these enemies were rising up against him. And in Psalm 27, he's uh, declaring the help that he's going to receive from the Lord. He's he's standing on faith, standing on trust in the Lord, but this is done in connection to the presence of God. He says in verse 3, Though a host encamp against me, my heart will not fear. Though war rise against me, in spite of this I shall be confident. One thing I have asked from the Lord, that I shall seek that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to meditate in his temple. Here, David recognized that in the trouble that he was in, one, God was going to take care of him, but two, that his utmost desire, even though he was in such troubled times, was to dwell in God's presence to be in the temple of the Lord, to behold the beauty of the Lord. He'll say later in the psalm that he was going to seek the face of God, which means to seek the presence of God. Um, Clearly, this becomes a part of this psalm, that David was going to seek the presence of God in troubled times, especially in connection to his enemies. And this should be our attitude as well. When we come across troubled times, we too should make our one desire really to dwell in the presence of God. To be in the presence of God, that is to be aware of the presence of God, to be drawing our hearts close to God, to be walking in communion and communication with God throughout the day, throughout the trouble, however long it might last, helps us to rise up above the troubles that we're facing. Matter of fact, he says, In verse 6, And now my head will be lifted up above my enemies around me, and I will offer in his tent sacrifices with shouts of joy. Um, Right before that, he said, He will lift me up on a rock. So here being lifted up, being talking about being placed or put in a place of safety above his enemies. And there's a sense in which that will happen to us as we draw our hearts close to the Lord. Even in troubled times, there's a sense in which we are elevated. We are brought a little bit closer to the heavenlies. And it helps to draw our hearts and separate our hearts from the troubles that we're, um, that we're experiencing. Because oftentimes troubles aren't just exterior things, uh, just in our environment. A lot of times the troubles that we have in our environment seep into our very souls, into our very being. And But when we lift our hearts up to the Lord, it draws us up out of that and lifts us up as though upon a rock. And it helps us to endure the troubled times. And not only that, uh, when we have enemies coming up against us, and we know as Christians, the biggest battles we face are spiritual battles. In Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 12, the Apostle Paul says, For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the powers, against the world forces of this darkness, against the spiritual forces of wickedness in the heavenly places. So David in Psalm 27 is talking about uh, a struggle against flesh and blood, but we as believers know that oftentimes our battles are not so much with flesh and blood, but with the spiritual forces behind the physical things that we see. And when we dwell in the presence of God, when we're seeking the Lord, it helps us to rise above our enemies Uh, to rise against those spiritual forces that are working against us and help us to have a different perspective and to be able to endure and rise above temptations and and traps and snares that Satan might try to uh, put before us. So what this psalm can uh, do for us in conclusion is help us to rise above troubled times through seeking the presence of God. So if... Seeking the Lord and being in His presence helps us in troubled times. We can only imagine what it will do for us uh, when we're in the good times. Uh, Our hearts will just be bursting forth with praise and joy and love for God. And we will be 
Really setting our minds on things above, not things on the earth. Setting our minds on the things of the spirit, not the things of the flesh. And that makes all the difference. It changes our perspective. It changes our attitude. It changes our responses. Uh, it just changes everything when we're in God's presence, when we're um, aware of his presence, when we are seeking his presence, and when we are drawing close to him. So hopefully this psalm will motivate us to do that. And not just in the troubled times, but all the time, seeking the Lord's face, seeking the Lord's presence. So here's some things we can reflect on and think about as we do our reading today. With that, guys, I do thank you for watching the video today. Hope you guys have a great day. Love you guys. God bless.